I don't generally trim um, cups, but I'm going to just give a little basic trimming to this one. Clean the wheel head. I tend to make them somewhat of a mess, not in terms of like water, but trimmings and clay and scraps. Uh, when I'm throwing, I don't really get a lot of water splashing everywhere. And this one, it's open splash pan, so you would think maybe. Um, this one I could just tell that I threw it really thin, but it has a lot of uh, a lot of clay at the bottom. So I'm gonna. And this one I think that I can do by tapping because it's a little wetter. And also, I'm not gonna get rid of the spiral at the bottom because I like that um, from the cutoff wire. And start here at the edge. Seems like it's a little dull. Maybe I need to use switch. This one, the, it's a little wetter, so it, it needs a, a sharper cut. And uh, like I said, I'm not going to do a whole lot here, so. the lug or or you can start pull and and smooth out the lug so that it's already the right smoothness when you attach it so this I'm not defining it very much so um, I'm just gonna cut it in a slight angle whoops get out of my way here you can do this with a fettling knife but anything sharp so you see that and then I uh, scratch it as well so I scratched both the surface where I was going to attach it and I'm going to make it a little bit more uniform like that dip it in water or slip I don't really use really clay slip I use uh, more so I pushed it in there and make sure it got around from the center out and then and then make sure that it's sealed all the way around. So sometimes that's not as easy as it might seem. But, um, so there. And then I hold it sideways and even sometimes a little bit of an angle. So, and then I pull and I want to line it up. So first I'm just going to do really gentle pulls to get it started. You don't want to do too hard of a pull from the right at the at the the attached area so that's pretty close so I'm just going to give it a flip and then down and then look at, at it and uh, make sure I've got my curve like I want it and get rid of any hard edges that I might have and make check it again 
make sure it's lined up and it's not, it's a little bit off, so I'm going to push it over just a hair. And it's, it's lined up pretty pretty close now. You can see, uh, you, you can look at it this way, and then you look at it from the side, and try and line it up that way, and then um, see if it's as open as you want it. I might push it up just a hair, and then push it in, and then I'm gonna, you can use a knife for this, but I sometimes just use my finger. I'm gonna use the dull side of the knife so I don't, um, there. So, and then a little bit of water on my fingers and merge it in. And that is where I put my stamps as well. So, I'm gonna get off this excess water so I can go ahead and finish this piece, set it aside. All right, so there's my cup. Um, There we have it. I might go back later and put some slip here or glaze it according to the lines I put in there. It doesn't really have a lot for carving, so I'm just going to probably just leave it and not do any carving. Just use that for the, maybe even paint on it, paint some color on it. So I have like two more. Oh, I do have actually one. I was going to trim this. I know this is like weird, but. And this was one, uh, I didn't quite like the bottom of this, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get it centered and then trim it. It's not gonna be easy. But maybe it is gonna be easy. I gotta be really delicate with this because I could knock it off pretty pretty easy easily. So on this one, definitely use the uh, I'm barely putting pressure on here. It is a small cup, but uh, it's an exception to this to that rule right now. A little bit of water, and then uh, add the clay there. I'm trying to get any water off the that's on here. The stamp doesn't stick.
may not be precise, but I'm meticulous, at least in some things. Oh, okay. Pretty late, isn't it? Well, no, it's actually really late. It's 4.30. Yeah, I didn't get much done today yet. Still time, right? Yeah, you too.